What's up everybody, it's Black Horse, and this time it's Solar Ray, and it's a 2v3, which later becomes a 3v3. It's me and Berserk versus Timdian, Biohazard, and Sons of Amphion. So I'm going to start rushing as fast as I can. I get set up right above the switch. And then I notice that Tim goes to the back, so I think he's going to spot me out. So I don't think I'm going to be able to finish Sounds of Amphion before he can finish get finish that switch. So I'm going to just drop down, jump on him, slow him down. Because I feel like that's the best option. I think it's spawn killed right here. Yep, and then of course I decide to spawn in the same bit. And the same exact thing happens to me. So this time I'm like, alright, I'm not going to spawn in that vent, I'm going to spawn in the other vent, and it's the same exact vent. But it's okay, because Berserk picks off the guy on the switch. So once I see that Tim shot off one of my tentacles, I feel like there's no point in saving a lurker with two tentacles, so I just go down there and jump on him. And we end up getting the kill. So I should have just jumped on Sons because he gets a nice stasis on me and I, he kills me and I drop a health pack. So now we've got School Mill on her team and she's an okay player I guess. She's Vanguard's girl so watch out because you know if you get her angry she's going to go to Vanguard. And Vanguard's going to come to me and be like yo Black Wars you know we got some problems. Well that's not how Vanguard talks but you know who Vanguard is you know that guy with the 11.5 uh, KD or whatever. Anyways, so I think they're on the button, so I try to rush them and go pack, but they back off, so I just kind of waste a life here. And I go back to Gone Lurker. So we're just trying to get pop shots on them, just keep them off that switch as long as we can. It's three on three right now. And then I get Tim to red, and he backs off, so since I got it. Made him use one health back, I just back off too. No point in dying. So we're just trying to stay alive. Berserk gets a nice jump on Sun, so I try to help him out, but it ends up getting me killed, and Berserk had it anyways, without my help. But then I see that they're on the switch, and <laughs> he must have snuck on there when we were not looking, because he got that right when I noticed, so just bad communication on our part. So I get destroyed right as they come out of the spawn. So just doing my own little thing here, jumping around. Now I go try to slow him down, jump over Tim, and jump past him, and then get a pretty good jump on some here. Even though his stasis looked kind of weird, but whatever. I'll take it. So we got two spitters in this room, and I try to help out the spitter, but biohazard hides, so like, there's not much I can do. Turn around and jump on these guys, and I feel like I should wait on them to get in the room. That way the spitters can pick off at them once I jump at them. And then the best spawn would have been not where it would try to get me to spawn out above Tim, but you want to go across from whoever's got the objective, because if you spawn above them, then you can't really get a good jump. And if you spawn across from them, then you can watch them the whole way and jump on them right when they come under that overpass or underpass, whatever. So, just getting some kills now. Now, Berserk said he's going to jump, so I'm waiting for it to get the assists. So, we pick off one really easily. Some basic teamwork. And I had a nice stun, but if I couldn't make that jump, and I feel like if I did get that jump, I probably would have jumped on him before he would have healed so kinda missed my chance of an easy kill there my lurker spam again miss a couple of jumps here but instead of just trying to chase him down I just wait get my jump back and then jump on him So I see they're splitting up, which is good. Just try to pick off at one. 
So he's shooting at one of my teammates. And I kind of missed my jump here, so I'm afraid he's going to turn around and grenade me, so I just leave him behind. Jump on Tim, or at least I try to. But I miss... I get the stun, but I miss the jump. Stupid. And I dropped a health bag for him. I just spawn lurker in this middle area, and this guy's on the switch over here, so he's the first threat. I go help out School Mill, who's over here. And we take one down. Now Tim's next threat, of course. I get a pretty good jump on him. I shouldn't have spawned here. This is a pretty bad choice. Because once Biohazard sees me, it's death. So that was a stupid idea. So I spawned middle where I should have spawned the other time. And Berserk's doing a good job getting attention while I can jump on Biohazard. And Berserk comes up and gets that kill. So now they're both one on each switch, and I see Schoolmill's in trouble, so I spawn over here and help her out. And I end up dying, but she gets the kill, so it's all good. So I see Tim, I'm like watching Tim because he's the only thing I can see from this camera angle, and I see that he has his line gun, so I feel like I can get a pretty easy jump on him without getting grenaded, so he's probably out of pulse on ammo. So. Just gonna spawn again. They're down to 40 seconds. Pick off this guy really easily. There it goes on Suns. He's not watching his corners or his sides, so we get a really easy kill there. And then Tim comes down. I get a nice stun right here and then a nice jump right at the edge. I don't get the kill, but I feel like it. It's a pretty good jump. I mean, at this point we had the game one anyways. Just doing whatever at this point. Or at least around one. So yeah. There's round one. Twenty deaths. So I'm a host, so I'm just gonna wait on my team. Get the blood flowing through my legs. Minimize risks. So, both of my teammates see that pack, so I'm just gonna leave him to them. Leave him to them. And I'm looking for lurkers, no lurkers. And we do notice that a spitter's up top, so I go up on this left side. Try to get a stun grenade in case he's trying to shoot at me. That stasis this middle column. I do pick up the spitter with the stasis. Can't get the kill, so I just love a grenade, a couple grenades, stun him again. Give him another stasis, and we'll get on this button. And Berserk does a nice job here watching his back, because I would not have seen that lurker immediately, but he's watching his back, so. Doing good here. And then I see Berserk got jumped on, so I figure he's pretty mad, because he probably had a lot of time on that switch, so I'm just going to get on for him. Oh, he doesn't have to restart it. And we get that switch easily, even though I have to die, but it's alright. Zero for one. Now you see they have four sixties. It's fine with me. Skumbo's got the plasma cutter out. I'm just booking it with that objective. And <laughs> Zerk's just spamming his seek. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let me show you how it's done, Zerk. I get a pretty good save from this spitter. Instead of killing him, I just give him a grenade because, you know, I'll just leave him back there while he can go for these next switches because he's no threat to me. So, I don't have a health pack, but I have full health. So, I'm going to try to rush this switch. Try to get here before the spitters can get up there. Now, now I hear a lurker, and I <laughs> should have looked up, but. Or I should have backed off, but I just get raped here, so. Two and two.
So I'm going to go this left way. That way I can cut off where they're able to spawn. So if they spawn in really bad spots that they don't want to spawn, even though I get jumped on here. Now I got an AI attacking me and then a little pack. My camera's angled towards the pack, so once... So while I'm in execution mode, I'm holding the left trigger, so that way once I get out of execution mode, I'm going to be aiming right at that pack. Right near him. So I give him a quick stasis. And then get this lurker. And then I end up dying here from AIs. Not fun. I should have taken care of those guys earlier. Taking care of them. And my team does get that button though. And I tell Berserk I saw a lurker crawl up on that column, so. He says, uh, okay, I'll take care of him. <laughs> yeah, I think right now he's just pretending like he doesn't see him. So I'm on my way up. I think I hear a pack spawn up here, so I just get a quick. Grenade and finish him off with primary. And stun that pack, he's weak, no point going after him. He's gonna die with one grenade anyways. So then this lurker tries to sneak up on me and I give him a little juke left then juke right, and then he doesn't know what to do, he tries to jump on me, I already got the switch. And right here I see I'm on low in health, so I'm trying to right now I'm telling Berserk to kill me. So we're cleaning off these necromorphs. Right now I'm just like, kill me, Berserk. And he does. I do that because not only is it faster to just die and spawn down there, but I also had no health. So if I go down there with red health, there's no point in me walking all the way down there, wasting 20 seconds to walk down there, and then dying from like one spitter spit. So it also helps because I managed to get this spitter right when I spawn. And I will check this side, see if there's no spitters. Also check that back part to make sure there's not a lurker there. I feel like it's safe, so I'm going to get on the switch dance. Left and right on it. And I pick up the switch, no problem. I think school mill heals me. And then... AI grabs me, and can we do it? And, yep, there we go. Five deaths as a human. And <laughs> you see no leaf clover backs out like, no, man, I was never there. That was a three on three, not a four on three. I wasn't involved in that. I don't know what you're talking about. So we're just f cleaning up everything, getting rid of these AIs. I think School Mill's in trouble back there, but you know, she's been a good distraction, so I just <laughs> leave her back there. Here I just get I hit all the clipping on dead space too right here and I miss every shot so not my fault whoever made that railing <laughs> so I get jumped on while I'm reloading nothing I can do about that and we put it in and win round two Zerk goes 21-0 I go 11 and five but don't worry about that you know it was all me. So anyways, thanks for watching and the post game stats are coming up.